Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Guys, welcome to the and I was here to do tutorial series for the PHP. And in this session, we are going to learn how uh, in, uh, in how to display the data from the database. And for this thing, we are going to create a new file here. Uh, just click Assalamualaikum Bismillah Hello guys, yeah. welcome yeah. to the Dara Education Project with the tutorial series for the with the name uh, PHP. So and in this session number five, we are going to sure. learn how to create a user for the uh, PHP my admin. Just go for show the P my SQL uh, server here, and here you will find the tab box with the name of the users. And the just PHP click on the users here and, and after so that, that you will see all the users the on your PHP my admin. Here uh, I am going to create a new user so add the user here. And after that you will give the name and I am giving a name like select able to retrieve the data from the data here. You should be careful. And after that you need password I am displaying a password here. And the generate means that if you are not uh, creating a useful password, then you can just create this one. And every time it will generate a random number for you. And if you do not want this number, just remove it and place your own that, uh, password here. Run. So for strong passwords, you just copy the generate here. But after that, database for user, you will select all and grant all five so privileges here. Or check all is up. there. And because if you are not selecting the same time, then it's maybe it. some uh, uh, some um, actions of PHP now methods like uh, it's like insert, update, delete will be not working. Either data. your code is not yeah. So you should be very careful about it and just go for that. Uh, and here, so you will see that this loop. user was created successfully. So Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And here we can a go variable, and in this variable, we will get the values from the array. My SQLI fetch underscore array is the built-in method which will get the values from the run query and after that we just enclose here first of all uh, we know that uh, we need uh, Hello guys, welcome to the, the, the Dara Education Project here yes. tutorial series for the uh, PHP and, and in this session, session number 6 we are going to learn how to create a constant or connection file in uh, basically we are creating a constant file for the our connection this is and for this I am creating the PHP file and name this file as a constant file 0, 1, similarly Okay, so first of all, we need four main things to establish the connection with the PHP, and these four things are one the following thing. The first thing is uh, server name, and to declare a constant in the PHP, we need a defined method. Okay, now and define method needs two, in the Google <coughs> and see that the two arguments. Was one is the string name, you can the constant name that was uh, and server. One more thing, this connection established successfully. Well and the second one is the value so that was the local host. host. Uh, well, we are not further Similarly, we are creating the browser uh, browser we are next one that so was the username. This one, and uh, I am creating the username. We have got. And uh, we are discussing uh, in the last chapter that it was the set other values and that so was we are creating similarly creating it uh, with the sap here for the saving of time sap. the next thing we will need is define <coughs> password name password and the column name is two. And the password is I got uh, address column Pakistan three student and the last thing we need is the DB four and DB is the database name which you are created in the previous lectures and that was the college database <coughs> HR horizontal work and I am creating a pre college database two different students values. College data this is this one. So this is the so you can see the creation of the constant file for our project. Thank you very much for watching Thank this tutorial and Allah and Allah Hafiz.